What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Mio Shabin. I'm back with another reaction video for you guys today. Um, today, we are bringing you another reaction from Fresh. I think it's Fresh and Fit Clips. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to be getting back to this reaction. So the last reaction that I did, you guys love the, the reaction. It did really well on the stories. And so on how, why the why he rejects women. So basically, I guess it's this discussion, panel discussion with women talking to men. So uh, I'm going to listen. We're going to dive into this discussion. Um, if you haven't seen the my other reaction to this uh, was featuring Candace Owens. That was an interesting um, panel. I suggest checking it out right here. Uh, and then description box below. So let's get into it. All right. So we had the girls ask about, uh, write down some questions. They're all anonymous. Um, ladies, when I read it, you can go ahead and uh, say that you asked a question or you don't have to. We, you can stay anonymous, but it's up to you. Um, so the first one here goes, how do you handle conflicts or disagreements in your relationship? This is actually a very good question. Uh, TK, you want to take this one first? How do you handle it? You I mean, you ask the girls, or you yeah, no, how do I handle you. it? Yeah, they're asking the guys. No, oh, that's the one here on the panel. I, I, I totally feel the handle um, conflict depending on where you are in life. If I was younger, you don't know how to control the climate of the room. You you, you do things that's stupid, right? Mm -hmm. But then as you come older, you realize that, one, you find a person that you're compatible with so you don't have to have too much um, controversy. Yes. Yep. Two, um, if you get a man or woman that truly understands how to communicate, mm -hmm. then relationships can go smooth. And then sometimes you got to realize if you are um, overreacting sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can overreact and be upset, and then you have time to think about it. You go, wow, I was really tripping. And you can apologize the next day because some people get emotional and don't yeah. have enough life experiences that they ruin a good thing. And mm -hmm. I, I, best way is communication, yes. always. Not, nothing should ever lead to violence in a relationship. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. Nothing. I agree. No, for sure. Mm -hmm. I asked that question. Yeah, what, what about you? <clears throat> um, so honestly speaking, it's about well, understanding. I think for most, both parties, if you understand the individual that you did, you're dating, you actually know who they are as a person, yes. you don't get mad. For example, let's say your girl, after a long day at work, just wants to come home, relax for a little bit, then she'll start getting stuff for you ready, for example, the dishes, you know, mm -hmm. food. Understand who she is, you won't get mad for rest time after work. Versus... Why don't you go to kitchen, uh, you know, make, mm -hmm. make me some food right now, you know, in the kitchen? So in that instance right there, I feel like if you understand who the person is, you don't get mad at them for dumb stuff. Right. Yeah. Well, let me ask you a question when you say that. See, because yeah. the way I live, I, I don't think men today should tell a woman that she should cook and clean and where you're going to clean the dishes. Mm -hmm. I believe Absolutely. I mean, that's I, men should live on their I, own. I agree with that. Before they get in a relationship. Mm. That way you teach yourself how to cook and clean so that when you do get relationship, you can really pull some of the weight. That's just my experience that, that I would think a man should do. Okay, I mean, because well, the worst we, thing we, you want to do, we say guys shouldn't live with girls anyway. Yeah, yeah. The worst thing in life is your woman dies or she leaves you. And you don't know what the hell to do. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. You don't know. You I can't think. cook. Uh, uh, who's gonna cook for me? You can't wash your own damn clothes. Mm -hmm. No man should be put in a position mm -hmm. like that. I would say though, if you're like back in the day, our grandparents, they no, don't. We're talking about now. We're not talking about back yeah. in the day. No, no. As an example, back in the day, that's why I, I, I do my own stuff. I get it. Grandparents don't know. Like for example, let's say your grandmother dies, right? Your granddad doesn't know what to do because she did everything for him. Right. So, so yeah, true. I hear what you're saying. Right. Um, I guess I would just argue modern day society. Like men do want to have women, you know, help them out. I think men should shoot for mm -hmm. companionship with a woman and um I think everything changed loyalty yes. Yes. and then get and get past Respect. beauty and ass mm -hmm. because and laughter you have some people say oh I, uh, why do you love him oh cause he makes me laugh He's oh funny. because she's beautiful all that fades one day it starts all that you gotta find day. someone that you can get really into the soul of a person that no matter what happens you still can feel that person and that takes time yeah. And even you when know, it's all bad, y'all still good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I won't be as nice about this. I don't, I don't, my thing is if you do some dumb shit, I don't like it, I'll tell you once or whatever, but I'm not even going to argue with you, whatever. I'm just going to ignore you for a while. And then it's on you to come and say, oh, my bad. Because my thing is, I don't flip out on girls. Like, I'm always pretty stoic with that. Like, mm -hmm. if they piss me off, whatever, I'll call them out, right? Of course. But it's always going to be in a stern, uh, 
very direct fashion, right? It's not going to be like freaking out and yelling and all this other bullshit. That's stupid. If you're yelling at your girl, you already lost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I think women look for a leader, and when you're sitting there arguing with her and yelling at her, mm -hmm. what she's effectively done is you're saying to her, I'm equal to you, so I will go ahead and yell with you. And it's like, yeah. no, that's not how this goes. And that's a big reason why I think I agree with you. Men shouldn't live with women. Because that living with a, with creates drama because what I've realized is that women are not like us. They need drama. They need the bad girls club type entertainment to be, you know, to be involved. Like women need emotional stimuli. We don't. Mm -hmm, so since mm -hmm. women need emotional stimuli, a lot of times you'll be the butt of the joke of their emotional stimuli. They'll try to start arguments. They'll, you know, talk to you about frivolous things that don't matter. I think for a man, it's better for you to live on your own, have your girl live by herself. If y'all got kids, obviously you go to the house and visit every now and then. But I don't think mentioning the woman, living with a woman makes you weaker in general too. Because women just make you when you live with them. Are you single or married? I'm not married. Okay. The, other, the other thing too, I believe in what Are you're you saying. Are you in a relationship? Yes, yeah, so I have a girlfriend. Like, okay. So you're yeah. saying even when you get married, you don't live with them? No. Wow. Yeah, and I like that because I, I've seen that happen. Give you two examples. A gentleman lived in Beverly Hills, mm -hmm. owned a very successful white man. And he, I asked him how did he get along with his wife, and he said, "My life, lives, my wife lives across the street, mm. and I live in my home, and there we go. go back and forth." I got a friend named Bolo lives oh in Chicago. God. Him and his woman been together nine years, uh -huh. and they see each other on Thursdays and Fridays, wow. and they got the greatest relationship ever. Yep. And most people think they always have to be together, but I think when you're together all the time, it deteriorates the relationship. It starts wearing out. Yeah. Just like I always tell men to manage sex, right? Because most of the time, if a woman's sitting next to you, men want to have sex all the time. And I always say you have to uh, ration out sex because one, most men don't know how to talk. Most men don't know about activities. Most people don't go out in the park and go for walks, right? Mm -hmm. You have to know how to put sex aside and manage your sexual activity before you burn yourself out. Because for every fine woman you show me, I'll show you a nigga running from her. That's true. Tired of her. Mm -hmm. yeah. Damn. And the other th reason, too, because I know some of this might sound extreme to some of you ladies, but if you actually look at it pragmatically and you take your feelings away, you realize women get bored in relationships way faster than men do. This has been studied and shown that women yeah. initiate divorce, they initiate breakups, and they get bored in relationships way faster than men do. Well, how do you prevent that? You prevent that by not seeing her as much because, so true. you know, the distance makes the heart grow fonder, etc. For guys, right, we can get bored with our girl and still like her. Girls aren't like that. They get bored of us. It's a fuck. App. Yeah, you know, women constantly need that emotional stimuli. And I That's think one of the most mean. natural ways to do it is by not being around her all the time. Anybody want to chime in on that? I like that. I like that. No, I, I agree, agree to a certain agree. extent. I agree. To what to extent do you agree or disagree then? Me as well. So it's like now that you're like breaking down the whole not living with each other, like I get it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I recently had a situation something similar to that. It's like I want to see. I'll see him every three months, and like I'm not having sex. I'm not entertaining nobody. But stop the cap. <laughs> Ooh, click that button. I got some pressure with you, but um, however, I just feel like I, I and you know that's another it's emotional it's a woman thing. It's like notice what you I said. Know, hold, exactly. on, hold on, rewind. I, what did you just say a second ago? Emotional. emotional. I'm agree no, no, with you. Before that, a woman. A woman. Thing. No, no. Before that, <laughs> what else I said? Yeah. Oh, see, you, you didn't even get my mouth. Hold on. No, no, no. Be, well, because I'm listening to what you're saying very carefully. You said I feel. Yes. Yeah. You asked for my opinion. Does anyone want to chime in? No, no, I'm saying the fact that you started with I feel. Emotional. That's exactly. this, I'm making the connection. Marja. I agree with you to a certain extent. It's just like, who's to say what a man is doing three months? Like, I got control. Hmm. I feel like women, well, I can't speak for all women. I, I know like me, I could, I could fuck one man for the rest of my life and be satisfied. Stop the cap. <laughs> <laughs> However, it's like in that space, because when you're saying that, I'm like, could that work in a situation for me? I'm like, that probably could work because honestly... <laughs> There'll be time, bro, if you blink your eyes too loud and I hear it, I'm annoyed. And you might see a, a, my facial reaction. You know what I'm saying? So the space, <clears> I feel you, but it's like too much space. It's like, what are y'all doing? But remember, we spoke about communication earlier. I mean, three months is a little crazy. <laughs> yes, uh, it once is. every three months. Yeah, but I, agree. I mean, I think in the general practice, though, of living with your girl, I think for the man, there's so just so many negatives to it. And then, and then also when you live with a girl, they soften you up, right? And what I've noticed is that, okay, this is going to be kind of offensive. Women are kind of... If I'm going to be honest, not all, but a majority are, right? And this is with all human beings. But the problem is this. If you're a lazy woman, but you're attractive, you can get somewhere in life. But if you're a lazy man, you're not going to get anywhere in life. Absolutely. That's, that's yeah, the difference. That's so you guys facts. can afford to be that's lazy. Facts. We can't. If I become lazy, you lose attraction for me. If you become facts. lazy, we don't give a fuck. So I look at it like 
I can't be around you because you don't deal with the same consequences for being lazy. Does that make sense? Not necessarily. Yeah, yeah, sense. Okay. Ooh, let's unpack a little bit just from what we listened to. Uh, we're nine minutes and six seconds in. And uh, that was a mouthful from, I was, I was, I was understanding for a little bit. And I think what I'm, what I'm hearing is uh, this is a lot of, a, this is a place from, a lot of people are speaking from a place of hurt. So when you've been hurt, um, whether you're a female or a male, um, you look at things from, because he said something like, oh, well, statistically speaking, mm, statistics is not, doesn't speak for everyone, right? And like he said earlier, uh, you know, everybody's different. The guy said in the, on the panel, um, well, the, rather the, the, the guy with the LA hat said, you know, yes, he's heard of people that, you know, he and his wife, he, a friend of his, his partner, his, his wife, a friend of his, his, his wife lives next door and he lives and that works for them, right? To each is their own. Every relationship is different. So I think you cannot use the same methods that, ev- that someone uses for your re- relationship, right? I think that everybody has uh, their thing. Um, and so, you know, he says that it makes a man living with a woman makes a man weaker. Um, if you're talking to like, according to biblical standards and texts, actually relationship, man and woman, right. They're created for each other. It's, it's, um, a spiritual connection. It's more for building. And on, on that level, it's not really on some, um, you know, like, oh, this woman makes me weaker or this man makes me whatever you're supposed to help each other out, you know? So I think that, um, this is obviously a panel and I can hear a lot of hurt from this particular guy who's leading the panel, his conversation. I understand what he's, what he's saying, but and I just hate whoever hurt him, you know, I, you can tell because that's where he's coming from. He's very much guarded. And he said, not all women think this way, but a lot of women do. Right. So I don't know. I don't, I can't speak for all women just because I'm a woman. I can't speak for all ladies around the world, but what I know, um, I can only speak for my experience. Um, I've had situations that, you know, kind of went sour but it never made me think that all men are this way. It just made me kind of figure out why do I choose this person? So I can't, you can't, honestly, you can't blame things on other people. You have to look within yourself because no one makes you do anything but yourself, right? So a lot of times we have the power of choice. I have a choice to be with this person or this person has a choice to be with that person or that person, right? So a lot of times we cannot be upset about, oh, what this person did to me. Actually, instead of being upset, how about why did I choose this person? What's in me that makes me keep choosing this kind of person? So I think a lot of it is self-evaluation. Um, I think when one people, when people, both men and women, when they both take accountability of their action and choices, then will they be on? Un- they will understand how to not make those same mistakes. Does that make sense? Um, but this is a very interesting conversation. So we're going to get back into it. Here we go. Okay. It depends. Is he lazy? Or was he like active one time and then he got lazy or he just a lazy dude? Cause I don't, I don't boss we'll a dude up. Team. You get what I'm saying? Like, 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 don't get okay. lazy. I mean, regardless of whether he was, I mean, oh, if he was gosh. lazy when you met him, he might've not even got a chance. Yeah. But what I'm saying is that a lot of guys soften up when they do exactly. meet a girl, and especially if they live with them. Because like I said before, Women don't deal with the same life consequences for being a bum. Men, we deal with those consequences, so we can't afford to be a bum. So I look at it like living with a girl, a lot of the times, is distraction. It doesn't really help you. You're better off living with men that are successful so you can keep the iron sharp. Does that make sense? Because yeah. if you get lazy, you don't want to watch Netflix all day. Men and women are different. I mean, unless you become a fuck. I'm probably not going to leave you. But on the other hand, if I watch Netflix all day and become fat, and there's a high you. likelihood you're going to yes, leave me. Of yeah. course. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that's why if you look at it pragmatically, why you can't live with women, it makes sense, man. I think as a man, you've got to stay attractive. And if, you're, if you know your girl is more than likely, statistically speaking, to get bored with you, 
you got to keep the spice up to some degree. And it keeps, and not you, see your girl. It keeps you working out, keeps you taking care exactly. of yourself. And every time you see her, it's like always like a new date. It's like yeah. seeing each other is mm-hmm. a new thing. And it really feels good when you do it that way, you know? I agree. So, uh, you, sometimes you can let yourself go, chill, walk around the house. You ain't got to always be on point. It's almost like if you can miss somebody correctly versus if someone's going to work, come back exactly. home. Exactly. Like, I'm with that guy. Versus, so not everything, is, like, not everything, everybody thinks everything that way. Everything is different. Yeah. Like, right. every, the stuff that he's saying is and that's okay. on point, but everything is based on the journey that every man and woman yeah. has gone through in their life person. to get mm-hmm. to the point. Some people need to be with someone and some people can't, you know, some people absolutely not be with someone, would be with someone. It all depends on your journey in life. Hmm. Yeah. You know, because what you're saying, I agree with what that was saying, yeah, yeah. but everybody can't live like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, and I think that's where, as a man, you need to be comfortable with being able to be by yourself. A lot of guys are extremely clingy, and that's an unattractive trait anyway yes. with women. Like, it's it's good yeah. when a girl's clingy, but it's not good when a guy's clingy. Uh, Facts. Go ahead. Uh, so we have another one here. If you feel like asking your girl for a threesome, and she tells you only if you give her one, how would you feel and respond to this Oh, yeah. Who wants to take that answer? one first? When you say only one, just one time? Uh, well, there's one here. Well, as in, like, for example, her get through some with two guys. So the guy uh, requests it, and then she says, I want one, too. Yeah, basically. Okay. She gotta go. Wait, is it, it with two? Who wrote that? It says first. I thought it meant with the boyfriend, and they do it with another girl. Oh, wait, well, okay. Uh, I hate to put the person on blast here, but just to clarify, is it if you say you want a threesome, then the girl says, I want a threesome, too, and I pick the girl? Or is it two No, guys? we have to pick the girl. So how about three? They trying to find out the no, question no. Who first. Who oh. the question? Yeah, next question. Nobody wants to admit it. Uh, that was me. Okay. <laughs> My so, question. So, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, because I mean, obviously, we want to really understand no, your question to appropriately okay, answer I feel, it. Yeah, I feel. yeah. My question precisely was: All right, there are dudes that will ask their girlfriends of years. For maybe, a threesome. Yeah. I want a threesome. Sure. That's perfectly fine. Yeah. If you as a girl, you feel like, okay, you know what, I'll give my dude a threesome, that's fine with you, but uh, what about when you ask your dude, all right, I'll give you a threesome, but well, I want a threesome to, too. To there, are gir- there are girls, I've Whoa. had this conversation with you. Stop, 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 you have a very bad habit of talking when I'm we're so talking. I'm so sorry. Yeah. With another woman or with a man? Yeah. No, no, if a dude is asking you, for a threesome with two girls, and Bruh. and you as a girl is asking your no, dude. No, no, we understand you. For a threesome what? with two guys. Okay, there you yeah. go. Two guys. So it is two guys. Uh, yeah, two guys. two guys. Okay. Bruh. Why could you just say that? Just say that. Because <laughs> I'm explaining why I'm asking she this question. She just takes a long way to that's explain. That's called a train. It's okay. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's, that's not fine. called a threesome. That's, that's called a train. A train. Uh, that's fine. TK, you want to take a monkey question? Monkey see, yeah, monkey do. One, I always see. One, two, six, one, Always remember what I'm about to tell the world. Never do a threesome with your husband or boyfriend. Thank you. Of course. Never. I agree. Mm. I agree on that. I was just asking. Always come back to bite you on your ass. Because as soon as he gets mad, because most men, most men are not strong. You start sucking another man's and he watching you. That nigga. Oh wait, you're talking about a train? Oh Oh, oh, no, I'm talking about. Okay, I'll let you yeah, answer. Yeah, I'm going that way first. I'm going that way. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Go ahead. And he'll see you for years. He's like, bitch, you suck that mother. Yes, just really fuck true. you for the rest of life. True. But you can do it with someone you're not in love with and you don't really care about them and you can really have a good time. There's so many people as they get older, the husband wants to bring in another woman mm-hmm. to the house, right? And that's, to me, as you get older, your bedroom has to become sacred. It, it has mm-hmm. to, you can have mm-hmm. no confusion, no um, 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 negative mm-hmm. energy rolling through the room. All that's for children. And this is just my opinion. Mm-hmm. Keep that shit out your home if you want peace of mind and if a man allows his woman to do that then he ain't really a man this mm-hmm. is just my opinion that's because true. when that's your woman no other man should touch your woman back so we too gorgeous huh we another gorgeous can i ask you a question i'm not understanding she like, said with another, another girl it's acceptable yes. with another dude it's yeah. not no i don't saying. want no no period yeah like I, I, I don't even want that in my life either like oh, I, the, you know, not even two girls no, not even two girls okay. yeah just peace you got to have peace mm. of mind okay i got a question so it's a negative for both yeah. is it so different it's a is it different than it's something this similar to you you just said it why is a threesome with two men a train a train and <laughs> i don't know i don't i'm not into that i just wonder why why, 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 why why i mean double standard it's just it's just a double standard yeah, yeah double standard. that i guess doesn't favor women but the reality is yeah like mm. typically mm-hmm. it's always been used I've if you say a train it means before. two dudes and if you say a threesome it's two mm-hmm. women all right so this is what i call a train you know on a train is 
One, two, Barriers at the two. bottom that connect. Mm -hmm. If you look at it from a <laughs> biological standpoint, a penis. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> there's two <laughs> like this. Yep. So into the girls like a train. Choo choo. <laughs> yeah, one in the butt. One, one in the back, one in the, back, one one in the I was asking a question, <laughs> but I honestly well, why would anybody want that in the first place? I can agree. That must yeah. be so right. uncomfortable. Um, I'll just uh, I'll answer. Uh, no, th thank you. That girl's effectively single. Uh, yeah. no, she no, is no. done. I've I will absolutely terminate the relationship right then and there. Um, totally agree. And uh, she doesn't deserve a relationship at that, that point. Mm. And she doesn't like me that much because the reality is if your girl truly loves, admires, and respects you, um, wow. all other men are invisible to her. Absolutely. So wouldn't it Okay. Well, <laughs> that was an interesting conversation this time. Uh, probably have to clean that up. Um, yeah, it is double standards for sure. Um and I think that's that's kind of the times that we live in. Um, I, I agree with the man and with the LA hat. It, you shouldn't have that in the room when it's a serious relationship. That should not be a thing. It is, I think the women were trying to figure out why can men do it and women can't. And I think, again, it's the double standards. It is the, you know, men and women are wired differently. Um, but I think, but I just think it's a, it's a weird, you know, thing that I think women try to figure out like, oh, well, well, well why can I do what he's doing? Cause you're not a man. That's just what it is. And I don't think women automatically are wired to say, yes, I want to do that, you know? So anyway, um, thank you guys for telling me to watch it. This was a very expl explicit panel episode. Um, yeah. We we'll have to chop a little bit and clean this up because it was a lot. It was all a lot of, all, all over the place. But um, we 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 watched it. We we um talked about it. Um, hit my notification bell for all new videos that come on this channel. Um, rate, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you join the family. A lot of reaction videos and commentary coming to you from this channel. We'll see you guys soon. Peace.